Hi guys, Aaron from Ace Electrical here with a few tips about your switchboard and your safety switches. So imagine you're sitting, sitting home at night, you're cooking the dinner, doing the washing, maybe watching the news on telly, and boom, your safety switch trips. What do you do? The light goes out on the camera for a start, and you try and reset it. Now in this case it reset because I don't have a fault here, but in some cases you'll try and reset it and it won't let you reset, it will just keep turning off. Uh, the easiest thing to do is to look for the one that's labelled main switch. Now in here it says light and power range main switch. So we would simply turn that one off. So I'm not going to do it now because the light will go out again, but you want to try and take all of the load off the safety switch switch and then turn it on without any load on. So we turn the main switch off, and then if you've got fuses or circuit breakers, it's the same principle. You either pull the fuse out while the main switch is off, or you turn the circuit breaker off. So here we can see this safety switch protects circuits two, five, and seven. So we look for circuit two, turn that off. We look for circuit five, turn that off. Okay, and we'll pull out number seven hard to get out but we got it out. Um, now we are able to turn that safety switch back on because there's no load on that circuit. We've turned off everything that safety switch protects. So the safety switch comes back on and then we plug in the fuse. Right, we plug the fuse back in, turn the main switch back on and the safety switch stays on. So we know that it's not that circuit number seven. Then we come now that we're using a circuit breaker, we can leave the main switch on while we're doing this. And turn power circuit number five on, the safety switch still remains on. And now when we turn on circuit number two, if the safety switch was to trip, we'd know that our fault is in circuit number two. So we can isolate which actual circuit is causing the safety switch to trip. So for the example we're doing today, circuit two, is the one that's causing it. Circuit number two is the problem. We leave that circuit off and we go inside and we have a look. What is get, being controlled by circuit number two? Um, so you get a lamp and you use that to test the power points. Any power point that the lamp doesn't work on, you know that that's on circuit number two. So what we do is we go around with our lamp. If it's not on that, if it's on circuit number two, we unplug all of the other appliances. Now it's important that you unplug them and not turn them off because this actually isolates them from the safety switch. Now we've come back out outside here and we know we've got all of our appliances on circuit number two unplugged and we turn on circuit number two and the safety switch has stayed on. This is telling us that the one of the appliances we unplugged is the cause of the fault. So now simply go back around, plug them in one at a time, and when it trips, you know that's the faulty appliance. Either throw that appliance out or get it repaired. If no matter what you do, you can't get this safety switch to reset, you've unplugged all of your appliances. You've taken the load off on each of the circuits that are protected by the safety switch, and if the safety switch still won't reset, then you need to call your local electrician or give us a call. We've got a 24 hour seven day service and we can come and help you out in an emergency at any time. If you want a simple to follow step by step guide on how to fault find your tripping safety switch, click on the link below and it will show you a great infographic on how to do that. Thanks for watching my video and have a great day guys. See you next time.